this advance this morning and all this positive energy is the biotech company Moderna. The company reporting positive phase one results for a potential coronavirus vaccine. A study said it was, quote, generally safe and well tolerated in the early stage. And get a load of the stock here in the pre-market, up better than 30% right now. And of course, this news cannot come fast enough as the number of coronavirus cases worldwide continues to rise. Just concentrating here in the US, we are just shy of hitting 1.49 million cases that have resulted in just under 90,000 deaths. Joining us now for more is Anjali Kamlani. Anjali, I know that you uh, just came off a call with Moderna. What are they saying about this vaccine and a possible timeline? Right, so uh, the timeline is still um you know, about the same as it has been before in terms of actually reaching market. They're talking about reaching a phase two uh, of the trial. They've just completed their phase one. And the good news that is coming right now that is affecting markets is the results of that phase one of that trial. We had heard that they're completed it and that the FDA had approved phase two, uh, but we're hearing today that that's approved for July and that, uh, the, as you mentioned, the vaccine has proved to be effective. Um, they've noticed that uh, it's also effective in lower doses, and that's good news because it means that they can uh, produce more of the vaccine uh, for and, you know, dose more people. Um, one of the concerns that still remains, though, is how long the outbreak lasts for and whether or not they'll have uh, enough cases around to conduct a large phase three uh, of the trial. So that's something that they're keeping an eye on and hoping that they don't run into that obstacle uh, in, down the line, Alexis. And Anjali, I know the World Health Organization is holding its uh, annual convention today for the first time ever online. Um, they're going to be uh, teleconferencing. This is unprecedented for the WHO, uh, given the coronavirus pandemic. And at that meeting, um, which kicks off today, they're going to be investigating China and as it relates to this pandemic. What more can you tell us? Right, that is what we're waiting to hear right now. We know that uh, on the other side, China has said, uh, the president has said that they're, that they're looking to sort of create that global message of, you know, working together and working towards a vaccine together. Um, and there are also gonna be questions about uh, whether or not there's gonna be a global vaccine timeline uh, presented or implemented in any way. Uh, one of the things on the side related um, is the discussion about Taiwan uh, uh, attending and being a part of the conversation. So a lot of moving parts there, waiting to see, and as you mentioned, unprecedented, not just because of the pandemic moving it online, but also because this is one of those times where really all the countries do in fact need to talk to each other and some concerns about that as well. All right, Anjali Kamlani, th thanks for the update this morning. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.